An Indiana congressman is pushing to let farmers protect their livestock from vultures. Thanks for staying with us here at 530. I'm Lisa Hudson. And I'm Derek Rosa. Floyd County farmers said the threat is real and federal law prevents them from taking action until after newborn cows are destroyed by the birds. WHAS 11 News political editor Chris Williams explaining what's happening and how the U.S. Farm Bill may deliver an option. On this hot southern Indiana day, farmer Dennis Conkle is out to check on the herd. <laughs> it's hard to fully appreciate what these animals mean to stewards of the land, unless you've nurtured them, helped in their birth, given them medical care, all the while understanding that you cannot get too attached. After all, they're the source of your livelihood. You know, it's kind of funny, the relationship with a farmer and his livestock is, you know, there, there may be an identification tag in those cows or there may not be, but I guarantee you I know each and every one of them. On these summer days, Dennis finds himself looking to the skies, not just for rain and weather that could become a threat to his cattle. He's looking for these birds. Black vultures are known to make their way through our area and much of the southern United States. Unlike their cousins that primarily feast on dead animals, the black vulture will attack small live animals. They've acquired the taste for newborn calf. Oh, it's a slow, um, sad death for the calf. The birds attack a helpless calf, blinding to disable the young animal before finishing off the kill. Calving season, Dennis says, is like ringing a dinner bell for black vultures across the countryside. Calf, and when I came back, there were black-headed vultures sitting on the fence, uh, ready to make that live baby calf their prey. Did they kill it? No, they didn't kill it, but they would have if I hadn't intervened. Conkle Farms here near Greenville was not the only local farm that experienced a black vulture attack or a close call. So when local farmers met with Representative Trey Hollingsworth at a round table, they asked him if there was anything he could do. Now he's trying to get legislation passed in the farm bill. They were talking about how these black vultures are killing their calves as they're being birthed and that it's really important to them to be able to stop that livestock destruction beforehand. Right now, the law says you have to wait till after they kill the calves and then you can get a permit to kill the black vultures. Indiana 9th District Republican Trey Hollingsworth has filed this amendment to the farm bill that he says would allow for those in impacted states to apply for permits before calving season so farmers could legally shoot the birds they see as threats. As a farmer, I am so thankful that somebody is willing to hear us. Dennis hopes the amendment makes its way into the final bill. If not, it would be four more years before the next farm bill. And each year, he has only so many opportunities to make a profit on the farm. In Floyd County, Chris Williams, WHAS 11 News.